All right, guys, today we're going to go over um, how to attach all the straps onto the dry bag and also how to attach your frame to the dry bag as well. Um, so first, you're going to take a look at your frame, uh, whether it's um, or some other frame, and you want to look at which attachments you have. So on this Mystery Ranch, this is a SOCOM version of their nice frame. It has three quarter inch buckles all the way around with the exception of the top, which are one inch buckles. So I'm going to grab my three quarter inch buckle uh, strap system, which comes, each dry bag comes with both the three quarter inch and the one inch. And I'm going to go ahead and take those straps um, and the three um, kind of figure eights you see that run up the middle of the bag, that's for your long straps. So I need to pay attention to if I have males or females on uh, the frame itself and put the opposite onto the strap. And then for the ones at the bottom here, if I look at my frame again, it has males that are close and then females that are further down that lanyard. So the females are going to correspond with these males on the front and on the back where the frame goes, they're going to correspond in with these females. So I just need to go ahead and girth hitch all of those on. Now once I have that set up, I can go ahead and put the frame onto the bag itself. So I take my frame off my pack and I'm going to undo your shoulder uh, strap buckles here. And then attach those into the shoulder straps right back where they were. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and the buckle that's close I'm going to attach into the bottom here and snug that down on both sides. And then with the rest of that strap, I'm going to go ahead and route it through the loop and then connect it to the opposing one on the outside. Now I'll come back to my frame here. And down here, just above the waistband, uh, on the frame itself is this piece of one inch strapping and on the bag is this buckle. So you go around the frame here, the frame goes under it and it just helps attach the frame to the bag. Cinch that down on both sides. All right, now once I've done that, I've attached the frame to the waterproof bag. Now I'm going to attach my pack inside the bag itself. And to show you the versatility of the system, I'm actually going to use a civilian pack. So you can use a Mr. Ranch bag, you can use uh, Granite Gear, you can use Arcteryx, you can use Patagonia. Uh, for the display, I've got an Osprey pack. It's obviously a civilian style pack. Um, but inside the bag, you've got both one inch straps and one inch buckles at every single one of these four connection points. So you can take the strap and go to a buckle on the bag, or you can take a strap from the bag and go to the buckle, or you can just go from a strap to any location on any bag and come back to the buckle. And this helps secure the pack inside of the waterproof bag, but it doesn't provide the mounting system that really secures it to the frame. So I've actually never attached this pack specifically. But, like I said, it's a universal system, so at the very worst, you just go around a uh, one portion of the bag and then back to the frame itself. And like I said, this is not really going to secure your load to the frame, it's just to stabilize the load um, inside of the waterproof pack.
So once I've got that complete, my pack is loaded inside of the waterproof bag. Um, but what's actually going to hold the load to my external frame is the compression straps. So those compression straps are located here and on the bag itself. So you take the ones on the bag from the self and attach them to the frame when I have the external part rolled up. And then when I zip it shut, because I'm going in the water or it's raining out, I take those exact same straps and come all the way back to the frame. The ones at the top here, they don't actually attach to the frame, they attach to the bag. It's the bottom two that actually attach directly to the frame. But that load transfer occurs throughout the surface area of the bag. So once I cinch those down, now my load is con completely connected to the frame as well as cinch the ones down here. And when I'm carrying this, whether I'm waterproofed or not, uh, it's going to carry exactly the same as it would um, because it's, it's all securely mounted to the frame. If you guys have any questions, hit us up.